Happy Sunday. I have a very special video planned for today, but um, first I have to go to the store and get some food because I'm starving and I need to get some stuff for my little furry child. So that'll come later, but that's what I have planned for today. And then I have to clean my entire apartment because my cat's toys are literally everywhere. And she doesn't know how to clean up after herself and she has way too many toys. She is spoiled. You know what really bothers me? I went to Target and, okay, so back home we had this Japanese bistro, whatever you wanna call it. And they had this sauce called yum yum sauce and it is literally like heaven. Anyone who's tried it, you know me, you know how I'm thinking. It is amazing. And I have actually found it at stores. Like, I could buy it if I wanted to. So I go into the, you know, Asian Hispanic section in the store and I'm at Target and they don't have it. They don't have it. And it is so sad because I know Kroger had it. Walmart, I'm pretty sure, has it, and Target doesn't. They have everything else but yum yum sauce, and I like eating yum yum sauce on like anything and everything, so the fact that they don't have it is very sad. I'm like, I could cry. Okay, so now that I'm over my little fit and sadness of no yum yum sauce, I got Caesar dressing instead, so now my poor self can make myself some spaghetti noodles some spaghetti noodles with Caesar dressing and cheese and it's gonna be great. I got some chicken too, some freaking chicken. And now I just have to go home and clean my apartment and sweep and mop and all the other fun things that I really don't wanna do. Okay, so I asked on Instagram, I did a poll of what video I should make today and first it was, one about how I moved and why I moved and everything and now <laughs> it's of two worst first dates ever so I guess that's what I'm doing today instead so I will do that after I get home and get all of my food put away okay so the video that I you want to be in it too yes you do you just want to see outside yes you do Okay, I made a poll, whatever, and I had two options. And one of them was one that was highly requested during the new year. And it was my worst dates ever. Hmm. <laughs> okay, um, well, the first one that I can remember. Okay, don't mind me. So the first one that I can remember, I am so hungry. I just get distracted a little easy. So the first one that I can remember was with a guy who I thought looked like Luke Bryan at my 21st birthday. Obviously I was drunk, completely wasted, and he didn't look anything like Luke Bryan. Like I'm not a fan of Luke Bryan. I mean, he's cool, whatever. But if you knock my camera over, I swear to God, cat, he didn't look like Luke Bryan. Let's just say that. And so we went out, okay, so my birthday is in October and I don't know really what happened, but eventually we got, we went out on Halloween for some odd reason. So um, he seemed to be a chewer, not okay in my book. I mean, you do you, but um, you're not gonna be dating me or kissing me or doing anything near this with that. So, and I'm pretty sure he, okay, so I had showed up to this bar that we were going to be meeting at and then it completely turned out to be really lame and there was no one there and yeah, so he got dropped off at the bar and I, yeah, okay, move your tail please, thank you. Oh my god, don't put your butt on it, gee, oh, cat. Oh, okay. So um, I eventually ended up driving us to 
another bar down the road. Turns out that his friends were there. He had, he knew people. Okay. Yeah. So he ended up doing like karaoke and whatever, bought me a drink and it wasn't even that good. It was actually really gross. <laughs> and he just like hung out with his friends the entire time. Like he barely talked to me at all. And he just kept like bugging me. Like the whole like thing about this video that you're gonna notice is that I don't like being pressured or told to do something or told that I am something. Like, no. So he just kept trying to like push me to do karaoke and like I really didn't want to. I just wanted to have like a nice date, just like chill, drink, like hang out, whatever. And he apparently wasn't down for that. So I went to the bathroom and called my mom and was like, hey, I'm having like a really terrible date. Can you like call me or something later or how do I get out of this? I hope your face gets stuck in that. children. Um, I went to go get another drink and it was taking a minute. So I come back and like all the people that were at my table were like gone. They just like left. <laughs> so um, he was friends with the guy who was the karaoke guy and I asked the guy, I was like, hey, have you seen this dude? He went and looked outside on the patio and he's like, yeah, there's no one here. Like, maybe maybe he's out, out front. Okay, so I went out front and looked. There were no cars out there. None. There was no one. So I just was like, screw it, whatever. So then I started about walking out to my car. And then I see like a few like rows back from my car. There was another car and like a couple people around it. And I was like praying. I was like, please do not let that be him because I don't want to have this like terrible time where he just like ignored me and like hung out with his friends the entire time and then have to like drive him home or wherever because I just want to go home and like get this night over with like he literally didn't talk to me he didn't even sit by me like he didn't like conversate with me at all and he just like hung out with his friends so that's not a date <laughs> That sucked. So I ended up just driving home. It wasn't, it was a terrible night. And Halloween is literally my favorite holiday and he ruined it for me, literally. Um, there was another one. Uh, yeah, I met a guy and we went out on a couple dates and then I find out later that he wasn't as old as I had thought he was. He was actually like 35 and I'm sorry, but if you're almost as old as my parents, um, we got issues. Sorry. I mean, don't get me wrong, he was really nice. He was cute, but he was older and I have a limit to how old I will date. And if you're almost 40, then I'm literally only 23. I can't date an almost 40 year old. And then there's the most recent one that everyone wants me to talk about, which was not a date. It was not a date, but the guy thought it was a date. And I literally just thought we were work friends. And so this happened. This happened on New Year's. Me and this guy that I worked with, he um, was like, hey, let's hang out. You know, you don't have any friends. You don't like, you know, whatever, which is true because I don't. Um, and so he was like, oh, hey, you know, we'll go out, you know, drink, whatever. Okay, no, eventually he uh, came over to my house. I made dinner, he brought drinks. We were gonna play some Mario Kart, except my Nintendo 64 wasn't working. And so we just chilled and watched Netflix. We were watching Stranger Things and it was great. Okay, well, then, then we stopped eating and he decided to get all talky. He decided that he wanted to drink a lot and then complain when I wasn't drinking a lot. I am not a chugger, I am a social drinker. Um, I drink slowly, I don't drink to get drunk, okay? That was not my intention that night at all and he had other intentions, I am sure. <sighs> he just started talking and reminding me of someone that I don't really like at all. 
and it just wasn't going very well. He started, he kept saying that I was a pessimist. Excuse me. When I make the video on how I moved out here and why I moved out here, you will literally see that I am, have changed into a very positive person, okay? Yes, sometimes I have my moments, everyone does, but I literally am a, I'm not optimistic, but I am like, I am, I'm not a pessimist, okay? So, he just kept calling me that, and then he kept trying to say like he knew me, like, I want, I want to do acting. I mean, I've done it in high school. I always enjoyed it. And then he starts, like, telling me that I'm not, like, putting, you know, I'm not making time. Like, I have time, but I'm just, not, like, not doing it. Like, I have a set plan of what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it, okay? I don't know exactly when I'm going to do it, but it's not right now, okay? I will do it when I am financially comfortable and emotionally comfortable in being here like I just got here like don't rush me into doing things that I I already have a plan like don't mess it up and he just like I have really a hard time with eye contact with people that I don't know that I am not comfortable with and he just like even after that he like did this thing where he would just like complain about like me not having very good eye contact not looking at him and then he oh my like, there's just so many things that just made it so bad and then he was just like laying down in my bed and then he's like come here I want to show you something and I was like okay well whatever you want to show me you can show me from right here and he's like what are, like are you like stranger danger are you gonna call the cops no dude no but I I should have just kicked you out literally and so he wanted to spend the night that was not my intention. He never asked if he could spend the night. He like was just like, can I like spend the night? Like I've had a lot to drink. Not my problem, dude. Okay, um, you were fine, first of all. You could drive and I mean, yeah, I feel like guilty about sending you home, but one, I didn't actually send him home. I said, you can sleep in the other room on the floor not in my bed because that's not about to happen there's only one guy that's allowed to sleep in my bed okay just one i was like or you can go down and sleep in your car and apparently or you can like uber or whatever and he's like you're like you're seriously gonna make me drive home and i was like yeah i am actually i just like was so done with it like him just trying to be like controlling and trying to like tell me that he knew me and dude we barely like known each other for a month like we were supposed to hang out as friends like that's it like i didn't have intentions of doing anything other than that just hanging out having dinner drinks and you know hanging out like that was it and then he was supposed to go home it just gets me all heated just talking about it it's really annoying so i've just like given up on dating right now like i'm not doing it <sighs> guys are just dumb like i am a strong independent woman and i don't need a man okay so and if i did have one it would be one and it would not be them and I mean, I guess I feel like those aren't really like that bad, but to me they were because I had to experience them. And I guess like, I'm not very good at putting my like thoughts into words or whatever. So that's like the best that it's gonna get. I hope that um, my misery brought you some entertainment for a couple minutes. So yeah, that was today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.